Welcome back to teach class and this is the discussion for booklet, booklet 1, the 15 must score basic topic and we are discussing page 29, question number 5 now. Now, here says that in the figure, W, X, Y are, and E, F, G are identical triangles. So basically this and this are identical triangles. And here says that the total area of the shaded parts is 80 cm squared. And now it's asking find the area of the unshaded part. So now let's look at the question here. WX, Y, EMG are identical triangles. It means that if here is 12 cm, then here to here should be 12 cm. Why? Because they are identical triangles. What is different is just that one is standing, one is sleeping. That's all. And here says what? The total area of the shaded part is 80 cm. Means that this part plus this part is 80 cm squared. And they want to find the unshaded part, which is basically what I name it as the white region. Okay. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to find the total. Now I know that one triangle is 12 cm high and 8 cm is the length. So what I need to do is I need to find the area of two triangles. So it will be 2 times 1 over half times 12 times 8. Basically, I can just simplify. And 12 times 8 will be 96 cm squared. However, the area of two triangles actually is, if you want to like partic be particular in uh, writing it down. Basically, it's actually the shaded region but plus two white region or basically the unshaded part. Why? Because two triangles, right? And they're overlapping. This one is calculated. Now, if you want to look for the white region, the two white region, basically what we need to do is we just use 96 2 minus 80. Right, correct. Because 80 is a shaded part. So if minus away, then what if left is a two white region? Then it will be actually uh, 60. And now they are asking for the area of the unshaded part, which is only the one white one white region. So basically we just divide by two. So one white region is 16 divided by 2 and there's 8 cm squared and that is the unshaded part. That's all for this question. Thank you and I hope you understand and you can learn something. See you. Bye-bye.